ask you a question? Of course. How the hell do you know how the universe is supposed to function? We have no, no reason to determine how the universe works. We have a reason to determine how the universe presents itself. What's set upon the table sits upon the table, and that one I'll go with. That stone on the table can be used to crack your, your bones, or it can be used to build a house. It's still the same stone on the same table. Mm -hmm. And that's where I stop as an artist. Nineteen. 60, I guess, the first time I did these things, I thought that an artist went off and worked and worked and then every once in a while came down the mountain with their pack on and laid out what they've done. And it don't work that way. How does it work? You are in the stream of life, whether you like it or not. And if you're going to be in the stream of life, then uh, you have to accept the responsibilities. I would like a few more pleasures, but uh, there doesn't seem to be time. see all the drawings I do as sort of star maps. They're for people to find their place within the culture rather than within a specific area. Maybe that's why I'm so interested in designers is to set up a pattern for people to understand where they are and from that they can determine what it is they want to do and they can figure out how to do it. I see it the way uh, as notes on a scale. In the old days one tried to find a typeface that was not authoritarian, that was still elegant, mm -hmm. and I prefer sans serifs. Uh, and everybody was using Helvetica, and it's one of the typefaces that I absolutely detest. Why is that? It's totally authoritative. It, in fact, does not adapt itself to things, and all information that comes out in Helvetica is saying exactly the same thing. It's telling you that this is cultural, this is intellectual, and this is intelligent. Uh, I'm rather afraid that words don't start off being cultural, intellectual, or intelligent. So I found a typeface that I liked, which was Franklin Gothic condensed. It reminded me of the working class Dutch letters that I am intrigued by. When a young person has the privilege of being able to design, being able to attend school, being able to do that, and does not accept the responsibilities of their own time, and it doesn't really matter in the end what side they fall on. Do you really want to entrust your culture in their hands? The people who wandered off when a school was closed down, they just continued their, their, their career track and they kept themselves going. Those are not the people who are supposed to be making your culture. Artists as well, when they find themselves in a situation where there's an unaccommodating structure and it isn't immovable, you figure out some way to go over it or under it or around it. You don't just stand there and say, okay, I'll join it. The same basic principle. You gotta be who you are, no matter how dangerous it is. You know, going off with your tail between your, t your feet, going off into the country, doing this, doing that. Fine, art is of the moment, design is of the moment.